Hey y'all, let's go through some protocols that um, you use to inject contrasts. So here are some ideas. Every facility is different, but this is just an average look at it. So let's go with basic. Uh, let's start from the chest. Let's see, we have a PE study. You know, PE is an angio, so it's gonna look at the aorta. So you're gonna go at a faster rate. Here is a 4.0, it's going in at four. So let's just look at it bigger. So four milliliters per second, and let's say we give 25, or you could even go more. It depends on how much you load, right? So if you load like 50 or 55, then you would split that up. But, but if there's a hundred, this is if there's a chaser, that's what that means. This is coming from B. That's the chaser. This is a test bolus, they call it, um, because you want to test your IV beforehand. Kind of give more just so you know that it's really flowing well. You should flush it before you connect the hub. Always flush it by hand before you connect the hub. And then you could do a test bolus at the PSI level that it's going to go in. So we have the pressure limit at 325 PSI. And then this green will be coming from this syringe, and that's your A syringe. You wanna keep all the flow rate at the same rate because it's just gonna keep going and pushing it through consistently. And you wanna give 100, but let's say it's a PE study and you already triggered it and it already scanned the pulmonary, pulmonary angio, you want to stop it and once it stops and well, it won't stop here but once it stops it's just gonna like give you your review how much you actually gave let's say it stopped at 80 you stopped that at 80 because you don't want to give more contrast if the scan's already done why push the remaining when they don't need it so you'll stop it and then you'll press this again after or pause it first you can stop it um, by pausing the contrast and then once it pauses, it'll give you your highlight, and then you press the X, and once it's gonna bring you back to here. So all you have to do is delete, delete, and then it'll go back to this, and then you'll flush your remainder, remaining saline. You'll flush that in to wash the contrast off. And then you know that the line has been cleaned off, and there's no contrast in the ID anymore because you wanna flush the IV with contrast because the contrast is thick and you don't you wanna reuse the IV line. So you have to clean it with saline um, and then kind of flush it through so you can still work with the IV later. And you could just arm that and then go and then you disconnect. So that's like a PE study, an angio study, or even in CTA, um, that's how you'll do those things. And then, let's see, so let's see the abdomen. So the abdomen, same thing. You, you go at a slower rate, so it's two. You could even slow it down a little bit more, maybe 1.5, 1.8, whatever it is. Test it out. And you know this is only gonna last you a minute, almost 70 seconds. But it's nice that this has a chaser because it's going to chase that through and follow through when this ends at 49 seconds because uh, abdomen scans about 70 seconds. So this is the idea view of how to give contrast for um, an abdomen with a chaser and a test injection. So test injection should always be used before the scanning. This will scan with um, the time remaining for um, the scan of the abdomen and this just continues through and pushes that through and it'll end um what else do we have perfusion is a lot faster sometimes it's at five and this is how this scanner does it and this facility does it but remember every facility is different but yeah that's just an idea of how to do some angios and how to set up for some um, abdomen some chest, chest you could still use the same thing here, um, but yeah, just wanted to share some of the timing contrasts for CT, toodles, toodles.